Hey guys, it's Retrohead here, or welcome back to another video. Today you're in for a treat if you like the original PlayStation, as recently I have bought so many PS1 games. Ever since I found Crash Bash in a charity shop a few weeks ago, I've really been big on collecting for the PS1, and I recently had an amazing PS1 charity shop find, and also went to a really good gaming store and bought a lot of PS1 games there as well. I also bought this really cool PlayStation t-shirt, but it was quite a while ago, but I've been waiting for the perfect video to use it, so I thought this was the perfect video, and I also really like it as it has a back print as well. So this was the perfect video to use for my new t-shirt. So first of all, I'll show you the games that I bought from a gaming store. So I went to a shop that I really enjoy going to, and that is Omega's Emporium. Um, so I'll show you the footage I took in store. It wasn't just PS1 footage, it was footage of all the games. But when I get back, I'll show you all of the PS1 games that I managed to find. Here I am in Omega's Emporium, an absolutely awesome gaming shop that I've been to quite a lot of times now. Now this is just a PS1 special because I did only pick up PS1 games, but I also did film all of the shelves because at the time I didn't know I was only going to be picking up PS1 games, but when I saw the selection they had, I think you can understand why I really focused on the PS1, just because they had an absolutely incredible selection. But they also had an amazing Mega Drive section, a mini Dreamcast section, but not really very many shops have Dreamcast games sadly. Uh, their Box 1064 selection was really good, Pokemon Stadium being the standout I think. And also they had a Neo Geo Pocket Colour game, which was really, really awesome to see. Here we have the Mega Drive section, and if you don't know, my dad collects for Sega, and I collect for Nintendo and PlayStation. It was actually only me in the shop today, so I didn't really look at this section very much, as I didn't know what he's keeping his eyes open for at the minute. The PSP section is really good in here, but the main thing um, on the handheld PlayStation side is the PS Vita selection. He always has a great Vita section, which you don't see in very many shops. So that was really cool to see, but here we have the PS1 section, and this was a massive section. And I thought the prices on these games were really, really good as well. So I did end up picking quite a lot of games up from here. But not forgetting, also in this video, uh, someone, not me, a member of my family, went to a charity shop, and they found me some awesome PS1 games, some ones I've wanted for a really, really long time. And they asked, and they bought them out the back, and they said just £1 each, which is absolutely insane. So let's take it back to the games room to show you 14 new PlayStation 1 games. So I am back from my Meeks Emporium and as you can see they had an incredible original PlayStation selection and I bought some really good games to add to the collection. So the first game is True Pinball. Now if you've never seen the channel before, I collect for Nintendo and PlayStation and my dad collects for Sega and I have played this game on the Sega Saturn because he has it on the Saturn but I really wanted to have this on the PS1 when I saw it as it's in one of these double disc cases that I really do like the look of. And it was only £4 complete in the box, so I will show you inside as well. Which I thought was a great price, because this is a really cool looking game, and one that I've played and really enjoyed. I do really like pinball games as well. Um, it's only got one disc, but that doesn't matter, it should only have one disc. I don't really know why some games that just have one disc came in these double disc cases. If you do know, tell me in the comments down below. But really pleased to have this one in the collection, and it only costs £4. So if you don't know, in my original PlayStation collection, I do have a lot of games. But they're sort of ones that I've only bought from car boots and stuff when I've seen them cheap. But I really want to focus on my PS1 collection. There's some great games that I want to try out that I haven't had the chance to try yet. So we have some really good staples in there, like the Crash Bandicoots and the Spyros. But I saw some really, really obscure games, and ones that I don't think I'm going to see again. So I decided to stay away from the staples that you see quite often, like the Tekkens and stuff, and go on to the more obscure ones just for this time, just because I've never seen some of these games. So the next one is called Wild Nine. Now this one was a fiver, and I just do not know anything about this game. But the fact that I didn't know anything about it was the reason why I picked it up. It was only £5 as well, and it's in such good condition. It does have a small crack in the case, but every PS1 game seems to have cracks in the case. And it is fully complete. It's got this weird card. I'm not really sure what that is. But we have the manual in really nice condition. And all of the discs. Um, all of the discs and from the charity shop as well. Are absolutely immaculate. Which is really good. If you know anything about this game. Please let me know in the comments down below. Next up we have one that I really really needed in the collection. And that is Worms. What an iconic game that I didn't have in the collection already. And this iconic PS1 game complete in box costs just a fiver. Which I thought was great. Now, if you've never played Worms, it is a really good game. I'm not going to tell you much about it, because I'll just leave you to play it, because it is absolutely awesome. Um, quite a good strategy game. But I do have a couple of Worms games in my PS1 collection, but not the original ones. So this was a great one to see. 
and inside it's in really nice condition the manual is absolutely massive but it is there it's complete and the disc is in great condition as well and this is one that i really can't wait to play soon Next up we have a game that I don't really know much about the franchise, never tried it because I'm not really into FPS games, but that is Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Now this is one of the best condition ones of the lot and this costs £3 and when I saw the condition of it I just couldn't leave it there. I would like to try a Spec Ops game at some point as well so I thought this is a nice good condition cheap one, I'll try out this one. I don't know how soon I'm going to try because I've got some PS1 games I do want to play more but I will get around to playing this one at some point. The manual inside is wrapped in plastic for some reason. Again, let me know if that's something that originally came from PlayStation or something that someone's done. Um, it has its little registration card and a great condition disc. Another awesome game to add to the collection. Now the next game is another game that I do not know anything about and I'm going to really butcher this name. I think it's spelled, I think it's pronounced, sorry, Tunguska. Now, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I have absolutely no idea. But I have never seen her dog played anything about this game. And I just thought it looks really fun from the back. It looks quite medieval, I don't know, but I don't even know if this is a 3D platformer. Uh, explore this uh, explore this fascinating 3D world, so it's probably more of like an open world uh, game. But this looks like a great game to try out. Um, I'm going to put some gameplay footage in, obviously, because uh, I don't even know what it's like yet. I haven't searched up anything, so editing this back, I'll have to have a little research. But it looks like a great game. And for a fiver, I was just kind of curious to try it out. Moving on inside, we do have the manual again in this one. All of the games are complete today, so that's a really good thing to see. And the disc is a really nice yellow colour. I do like that colour. And of course, it's in great condition. Next up, we have one of the cheapest ones from the gaming shop. Now, that doesn't include the ones from the chariot shop, because that was just a crazy find. Um, but then we have Pipe Mania 3D. Now, this from the back looks like a really good little puzzle game, and I do really enjoy puzzle games. And it was only three quid, which I thought was great. Now, putting in some footage now, like I said, I just love a puzzle game. They're really good little time fillers. A little bit like Marble Madness. Marble Madness is one of my favourite puzzle games of all time. Now, this doesn't really look like that. It looks more like to do with pipes, like guiding stuff around. I'm not really sure, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Inside, it's in... Oh, it's just such good condition. Like, that manual looks like it's never been read. Next up, we have an absolute classic arcade game released for the PS1, and that is Asteroids. Now, I have never, ever played Asteroids, which is quite bad, actually. But this disc is a remastered version of it, but it does also have the original on it as well. So I really, really want to play the original Asteroids because I just know it's such a well-regarded arcade game. Let me know if you've played it in the comments down below and if it's any good. And also, let me know if you've played the PS1 version as well. Because both versions look really, really fun, and I can't wait to give them a go. Again, complete with manual. And the final game from Omega's Emporium is a game that I've wanted in the collection for so, so long. And I just haven't really been able to find it. But when I found it there, and it was in this good a condition, I just knew I had to pick it up. And that is Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I'm a massive Street Fighter fan, as you can see from my SNES behind me. And this is it's not really a Street Fighter game, it's just a puzzle game that uses the Street Fighter label and characters. But one that I've been so interested to try out and desperate to have in the collection. So when I saw it there, I knew I had to pick it up and I cannot wait to give this one a go. And I will show you the inside of this one properly because it does have a few bits. So it has a 50% subscription for Game Pro, which you do not see nothing like that in games anymore. You're lucky to even get a game physical nowadays, but don't even get me started on that. Um, we have the manual here, it's a really big manual, it's in loads of different languages, but it's in good condition. And also the disc here, which is in equally as good condition. So, so pleased to finally have this game in the collection. And also let me know, have you played this game? In the comments down below, because I cannot wait to give this one a go. Next up, we have this stack of PS1 games. Now there are six games here, and all of these were found in a charity shop, but not by me, by a member of my family who went out charity shop hunting. They asked about games in the charity shop because these weren't on the shop floor and they bought out these. They asked how much and they said £1 each, which is crazy. And there's a game, well, there's two games in here that I've wanted for so, so long. So the first game is actually the only double from the charity shop bundle, but one that's a condition upgrade for my collection. And that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I do have a few Harry Potter games. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever played any of them. I have no interest in Harry Potter. But how can you pass up for a complete, really good condition PS1 game for a pound? Such a great find. And like I say, this is a condition upgrade for my collection. Next up, we have Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings on the same disc. 
I absolutely love the original Lemmings. I've also got it on the PS2, but so for some reason, I've played so much of that game. But Lemmings is absolutely awesome. If you don't know, you have to start with like 20 or 50 Lemmings, and you have to get a certain amount to the end. But you can sacrifice a couple to help you get to the end. Um, and it gets like harder and harder as you go. There's like an insane amount of levels. But Lemmings is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to give this a go on the original PlayStation. And the charity shop games, maybe even better condition games from Omega's Emporium. They're just, they literally look absolutely brand new. And that's for all of them as well. Next up, we have Star Wars Dark Forces. Now, I have never really seen this game before. And I do like having Star Wars games in the collection. I'm not really big into Star Wars, but I do like having these games in the collection. And this is one that I've heard about, but I haven't heard mentioned often. So if you know anything about it, do let me know in the comments. So this goes for all of these games, because a lot of them I'm not really sure about. Um, but I cannot wait to give this game a go. It looks great from the back. And not a very re and not a very common one either. So a really good one for them to find. And inside, I'm gonna I'm just literally I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. The condition of these games is just amazing. Now the condition of this next game is really, really good, apart from there's a bit of the case missing. But they said that's only because the lady in the charity shop who bought the games out actually dropped this game and they were bringing them out. So as you can see, there is a crack in the bottom. But that is Buzz Lightyear, uh, what is this game called? Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, I forgot then. Um, I love the art style in this game. I do like Toy Story as well. I don't like many films, but I do like a bit of Toy Story. Um, so this game looks like a great one to try. Um, and inside, apart from the crack in the case, obviously, the manual. I mean, just look at that. To find games this good condition in a charity shop is a rare find nowadays. And this is also one that I don't see very often. So a great game to add to the collection. And next up we have the two that I'm most excited about. I'm absolutely chuffed with these. So the first one is Wipeout 3. I mean, come on, to find a Wipeout game on the PS1 in a charity shop is absolutely amazing. Now I absolutely love Wipeout. I have played them a lot of times, but I've never really owned a copy. I've played them around other people's, but I have never owned a copy of Wipeout 3. So I'm so happy to be able to play this game whenever I feel like it. And the condition of this one may be the best of the lot. I mean, this manual, look at that. There's no creasing, there's no creasing down the spine either. It's just absolutely incredible. It also has this little uh, memory card sl uh, slip here and the disc. I'm not gonna take it out, but it literally looks unused. It's incredible. So yeah, cannot wait to play this one. And the final game is on Platinum, but like I said in my other videos, uh, having a game on Black Label or Platinum for the PS1 doesn't bother me in the slightest. On PS2, I do not like the PS2 Platinums, just because they have that really ugly border, but I think the little bit of silver along the bottom looks really smart on PS1 games. And this game for £1, Medieval. I have wanted to play this game for so long. I know so many other people who have played it and absolutely loved it. So to be able to play this game and add it to the collection for a quid is absolutely amazing. Now the condition of this one is also really good as well. The manual is really nice and the disc is really good as well. Now um, I have never played Medieval but this is one that I've seen a lot of footage of and looks great. But I want you to let me know, have you played it and have you got it in your collection? I'm sure you probably have if you collect the PS1. But one that I am absolutely thrilled to have in the collection. And even more happy to know that someone found it in a charity shop for me. So another video and as you can see the pickups this time are absolutely amazing. Sadly there was a bit of a lack of Nintendo but this was a PS1 special. But don't fear there will be a lot more Nintendo coming again soon. If you enjoyed the video please like and please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!